right, Mr. G here, back with Death Road to Canada. All right, a couple things I liked about this game. Number one, the pixel graphics are great. Remind me of my childhood playing stuff on Nintendo and Super Nintendo back in the day. It's a roguelike, which is great. And it has two-player local co-op, so you can get two people on the same machine. I tried that out earlier, good fun. One person on keyboard, one person on gamepad. So I'm gonna fire up a game here today, new game. Uh, let's just go ahead and fire this off. We'll rock it with Kimmy. See if I can give it a go with the old gamepad here. All right, rumors Canada's safe. Of course it is. Clicking next. Let's start with this Lynn guy. We can always use an extra character, right? Okay, let's ask Lynn to join. Okay, group accepts Lynn. Onward to Canada. Yay! We got some extra food. Starting the journey, we decide to grab some supplies. Do we want to do a Yalmart, Quiet Factory, or Rest Stop? Well, anything that sounds like Walmart is probably definitely a good choice. We have spotted the abandoned place. Swarm size mild. Aggression sluggish. Late morning. All right, so an easy warm-up loot hunt. All right, we're going to go with Kimmy. I'm going to go fire it up. All right, let's boogie, Kimmy. What am I doing for attack? All right, no, I need a weapon. All right. So let's see what we can do, Kimmy. We're just going around here whacking some zombies. If you want more to do from a sword? This guy's trying to sell me his sword, apparently. You'll praise my name. You're going to love this sword. Yeah, I'm just, you know, just going to go here and pick off these slow zombies. I don't know if you actually get any sort of reward for that. So here's the store. Yeah, we've popped in the store. I can't tell if you can actually loot the cash registers or not. Now I can see I'm like, am I sweating? Is there some sort of like persistent survival wear out thing happening here? Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Can we actually loot any of this stuff? Soundtrack guitars thrashing. All right, dude. All right. Okay. Now, I don't know in this game if there's like a set number of zombies or they just keep spawning. But let's, let's get... Oh, I'm seeing some flashy things here. That, that's got to be a good sign, right? Okay, I've like looted some food there. That's good news for the old crew. Okay. Ooh, okay, I got some gas, some medical supplies. All right. Can I loot these boxes? If you're strong enough to wield an enormous greatsword, it's a tremendous advantage. Ooh, I can pick stuff up and throw it. It's probably handy, right? I could drop it. Let's try that out. All right. Woo! All right, so it would appear that I've lost my weapon. Let's fire back up. That uh, the zombies simply keep on coming. I can't tell if they're unlimited, but you know what? Let's get our crew out of here and get to the exit. Back to the car. Get on the road. So, oh, here we go. Get out. Oh, no, I meant like get out of town. Not get out of the car. Start the car. Start the car. Like seriously. Start the car. Floor it. Floor it. Get out of here. Finally, jeez. That was a little spooky. I was actually getting a little stressed out there. I was like, why won't my car go? All right, how do we do? We got some food. We got some gas. And we got some medical stuff. And apparently we destroyed 27 zombies. All right, demonstration is over. Are you ready for the power of cold steel? No, I'm not. I don't have enough money, Lynn. Hmm. Moving on. So we can see on the screen here, we've got a few people on our crew. We've got an event, so these are going to pop up from time to time, and if people in your party have skills, I think you can get bonuses and different options, really similar to FTL in that regard. So, exhausted, after the long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot, falls asleep immediately after, the group eats a decent meal. Lose food, minus four, so it looks like your basic normal day. Going to keep on driving here, you can see how we're doing, we've got health down here. Kimmy, we'll run out of gas before we get to Canada. Obviously, Kimmy, it wouldn't be a very fun game if we just drove the whole way. All right, here we have a random event. Ambushed by a yelling guy. He's ranting and raving. Doesn't look dangerous. 
but his rants are starting to sizzle. Oh, I love old guys. Let's just... Really? Should we... Oh, run away, then we won't get anything. Let's fight this guy. The group fights the cantankerous man. It's over very quickly, but he ended up doing some damage before he ran off. Really? We got beat up. Jimmy and Kimmy and Jolene, you got injured by an old guy. I am super disappointed in you guys. Not cool. And obviously, we don't have a lot of medical experience, so I made a poor choice there. Like a lot of roguelikes, um, sometimes you can get really hurt by the old RNG there, and I just rolled poorly there. RNG means random number generator for my younger guys. It means just bad luck sometimes. So we're driving through a city. It's not completely overrun. Let's go with police station, right? Infested stronghold sounds way too scary. Um, all right. Stick with Kimmy here. What's her role? Lead the mission through the scavenging sites. Controlled by player. Okay, that must be me. Here we go. So you obviously have some ways you can set the AI to follow you if you're not like doing two-player co-op, which I gotta say is is really good fun if you do get a chance to do it. So where am I going here anyway? I do have a pause button. Just trying it out. Alright, so we can set their tactics if we want. Let's... Buttville Police. I love the name. Of course, Buttville. Very clever. Alright, let's... So let's wreck all these zombies here, and they just keep coming through the door. So, in this game, it's it's good to move, okay? You're not really going to be clearing areas forever. No one is going to stay safe, right? Keeps that feeling of tension going. All right, toilets. Not a lot of loot here. In the bathroom. Anything? Nope, we got some flies. Nope. All right, come on, person with a mop. Let's keep on trucking. All right, here we go. All right, what do we got here? Computers, so we can move that. Can I pick that up? Oh, I've just switched to no weapon. Don't want that. And you can get guns in this game as well, but ammo is limited, right? You can be sort of walking dead. You don't want it to be too easy. All right. Let's ruin these guys' day. All right. If we can clear out any of this. Can I open this? No. Right. What can we find here? The old Buttville police station. Let's try this door. And what, another bathroom? I mean, this place has got a lot of toilets. Can I can I loot this? It's shiny. All right, I got one whole bullet. All right, we're at a police station. One would think we could find some more some more bullets. Maybe some better loot. Ooh, weapons. Yes. That's. Oh, we gotta get back. I'm gonna get past some zombies here. Let's wreck this guy. We got more bombs. How do I use this? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go with sword. Oh, this is this is fun. What can I do with a pipe bomb? Just gonna pick it up. I swap back to my sword. All right, yes. Oh, now we're like what's her face from uh, Walking Dead. Totally walking with a katana, and it broke. I just got it. You're kidding me. That really just ruined my day. I was really excited. I was like, what's her name from Walking Dead? And then, eh, nothing. So I lost my katana. It snapped. I'm angry. Zombies are just going to keep coming. Let's get out of here. Now, one thing I have yet to figure out with this game is... How do you save it? How do you get out and say every time? It just gives me the option to quit. So, do I have to be on, on the road, I'm going to guess? So, let's see if I can figure that out. Get back to the road. Was that some loot I see over there? Or just more baddies? All right. Well, let's just wreck that guy, right? There's no one else here. Why not? Did I miss anything over here? Like nothing. All right. I am not doing well, obviously, at this game, but it's my first first playthrough. Let's get back to the car. Hopefully it starts sooner this time than the last time. Alright, we're in. Start the car. Start the car. Well, I don't know what those numbers are. Come. Can we start the car, please? Okay. Get the car again. There we go. Maybe you gotta mash the keyboard there, it looks like. So we killed 31 zombies and we got one whole bullet. Oh my word. That's terrible. 
Now, can I exit and save now that I'm on the road? Is that possible? Abort the game, quit to the title game. You can resume the game later with continue game. So we can save on this on the once we get on the road. So let's see if that works. And I've got a continue game. Awesome. That's what I wanted. All right, so not a great playthrough. I didn't do super good, but I, I stayed alive through two whole events. And I gave it a go. I will maybe give you guys some more as I get going, but that just introduces you to Death Road to Canada. So you're going to be on a road trip. You're going to have to keep enough food and gas to stay alive. And see if we make it there. All right, that's my first one on Mr. G Plays Death Road to Canada.